While many of us would spend our miserable working lives looking forward to a wet weekend in a caravan at Eastbourne, there are places on this planet so incredibly lavish and so remarkably exclusive that we mere mortals probably can't even imagine it. If you have deep pockets and spend your charmed life visiting the world's fanciest establishments and then waste your time there just sleeping, then I've got a list for your next vacation opportunity. But if, like the rest of us, you barely get a few days off a year and spend those in a darkened room getting over the trash fire of your life, then here's the chance to dream for just a moment. From the biggest suite in America to a private island in Fiji, here are the 20 most luxurious hotels in the world. Number 20. Burj Al Arab now, back in 2015, it may have been possible that the Burj Al Arab was the only seven-star hotel in the world. This may or may not have changed in the many years since then, who could possibly say? So hang in there, you just never know. Maybe there will be more to come on this very exciting list. And let's go poke around inside the world's only seven-star hotel. If you were to take a guess at where in the world the first ever seven-star hotel might be located, there's a very real likelihood that you would say Dubai. That's right, Dubai is the location of the Burj Al Arab, which is stuffed full of all that fancy schmancy luxury that you would expect it to have. The hotel is 321 meters tall, which is over 1,000 feet in American, and it makes it amongst the four tallest hotels in the world, having such also become the pinnacle of hotel offerings. The Burj Al Arab boasts the Asawan Spa and Health Club, which they claim will give their guests the ultimate fitness experience. There's a a 612 meter freshwater swimming pool and an 828 square meter saltwater swimming pool for those that prefer a dip in brinier liquid. In addition to all of these ways to soak one's physique, there are also four jacuzzis, a swim up bar, and a pool food menu. There are also all of the sunbeds and luxury day beds and air conditioned cabanas that you could shake a stick at. And it's all for a substantial fee, of course. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Hotel Plaza Athene now, the Hotel Plaza Athene in Paris first opened up its doors to guests in 1913, and ever since, the place has been embodying the meaning of opulence and sophistication. Paris style, or so they claim. Located on a French street whose name I can't pronounce, the Plaza Athene has long been associated with the Parisian passion for high fashion. It's been recently renovated to reflect the super swanky stuff that the hotel wants to convey itself to be. They just love to boast about the fancy folk that have stayed in their building. You know, those like Jackie Kennedy and Grace Kelly and even Oprah herself. They also rather bizarrely like to let everyone know that they were featured on an episode of Sex and the City, which being one of the most annoying television shows ever would likely put off more potential visitors than it would attract. However, I digress. If you do have the money to burn and are looking to stay somewhere with more than the average quota of shiny stuff, then the Hotel Plaza Athene might be right up your ridiculously overpriced Parisian Avenue. Number 18. Signal Soul. Now, apparently Seoul has all kinds of uh, options when it comes to staying in five-star settings, but there's one particular hotel which wants everyone to think that it's actually better than all of the others. The Signal Seoul has what it claims to be are the most fabulous dining options and wellness facilities in the entirety of the city. The hotel features 235 rooms, which all boast panoramic views of Seoul's cityscape. Oddly enough, the inspiration for this luxury Asian hotel is the French Alps. The hotel spa, sauna, gym, and swimming pool all take their cues from the snowy alpine landscape, which is sponsored by Evian for good measure. Within the hotel, there are several dining options, but those about which it is most vociferous are the French ones. From gourmet French cuisine to a classic French patisserie, there might be moments in which a guest could forget that they're even in Korea. Number 17. The Mark, New York 
This iconic hotel in New York City was first built back in 1927. The place is apparently always winning awards for its fancy stylings and super service, although the floors in the entrance lobby are likely to leave a migraine-sized impression on many visitors, and that, frankly, is far from ideal in the city that never sleeps. Loud floor coverings aside, the Mark is known for being one of the most fancy establishments in the whole of the city. In fact, this is where you'll find the biggest hotel suite in the United States and the most expensive one in New York City itself. The penthouse suite is located on the 16th and 17th floors of the hotel, spreading out over a full 10,000 square feet. The crazy amount of real estate also includes five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a living room, a library, a kitchen and dining room, and then there's the 2,500 square feet of terrace that has all those views all across Central Park, which naturally takes in the iconic New York skyline. It's all very fancy and plush, but please, what in the world do you do with eight bathrooms? rooms. If you happen to be a super posh person, then just having a luxury room or suite or whatever isn't going to cut it. You're going to need all that other stuff as well. You know, like servants. So if you happen to like that sort of thing, the Mark has its own in-house butlers who, and this is obviously the most important feature in any human, are certified shoe polishers. Yes, the world of the mega wealthy looks rather different than it does to us mere mortals. Number 16. Emirates Palace, United Arab Emirates. Now, if you need all your hotel stuff to be dipped in gold, even your coffee, then the Emirates Palace in Abu Dhabi can fulfill your every desire. This place is essentially designed to be the most opulent and grandly luxurious hotel that's ever existed. There's nothing subtle or even quietly tasteful about the Emirates Palace. The hotel is expensive, it enjoys shiny things, and it really wants to show them off. The word palace in its name makes no mistake either. This is basically like a royal residence. Bigger than Buckingham Palace, the Emirates Palace Hotel has two 222 acres of grounds, which are stuffed full of landscaped gardens, swimming pools, 200 fountains, a private sandy beach, oh, and a heliport, of course. Inside the hotel, there's every facility and shiny feature that you could imagine, and probably a whole lot that you never even dreamed of as well. From massive palatial suites to a colossal luxury spa, this palace has all of that big stuff, but they've also got all the details right too. How about room keys that are shaped like golden coins, 24 karat gold facials in the wellness center, or even a gold cappuccino? Number 15. Hotel President Wilson This place is really all about its location. Most of the generic swankster stuff that it offers is made to look good by the stunning backdrop of Lake Geneva. With Mont Blanc in the backdrop and the beautiful Lake Geneva in the foreground, there's more than a whiff of the perfect picture postcard about the hotel president Wilson. As you would expect in the healthy and wealthy environment of the Swiss Lake, there is a huge and fancy spa which has some of the most posh and exclusive brands of skincare and whatnot. The hotel itself features 204 rooms with 20 22 suites, and the hotel president Wilson is known for being so posh and fancy, in fact, that it regularly hosts heads of states and a whole bunch of celebrities. These people, in fairness, are really the only people with the kinds of monies that can afford to stay in the suites here. You know, those with expensive accounts that are paid for by the taxpayers or, you know, the mega rich. Number 14. Taj Falanuma Palace. Located in India, the Taj Falanuma Palace Hotel has more of the look of the Venetian Palazzo than anything else. The ridiculously opulent interiors are all crystal chandeliers and velvet swaths of curtains all over the show, and the hotel has 60 rooms and suites, all of the most palatial luxury of course. The grand suites are the most fancy schmancy of them all. These spaces are massive and stuffed to the brim with the most ridiculously shiny and high-end materials in the European stylings. They also have views across the city from this optimum viewpoint up on the hillside above. As well as all of those suites and private quarters and such, this hotel has public areas that go above and beyond all expectations. And there also seems to be endless ballrooms, a super posh spa, and a wellness facility with such unique features as the Jade Room, where guests may take an afternoon tea in the most lavish style imaginable. Number 13, Titanic Marden Palace. 
Apparently nothing whatsoever to do with the famously doomed ocean liner, the Titanic Martin Palace is a hotel in Turkey with a reputation for all the luxurious stuff that you could possibly imagine. One of the biggest boasts on the Titanic Hotels Group website is that this is the best honeymoon destination in Europe. Quite a claim, and to be honest, when you consider the places that do exist on that particular continent, and it kind of makes you wonder about what they actually have there to be doing all that boasting. Well, for starters, the hotel is located in Antalya, Turkey, which they say is extremely beautiful and has the perfect spot just there on the Mediterranean Sea. This is a five-star hotel with so many enormous chandeliers that you may be dazzled by all the shiny and sparkling lights and you won't be able to see anything else anyways. But if you do manage to focus once again, likely as not, you'll take in the colossal lobby with all of its luxury shiz. Then, if you're that way inclined, you can even get yourself a 24-7 butler and all the trappings of the super-rich lifestyle, even if only for the duration of your visit. Number 12. The Obara Ravilas This incredibly luxurious place is not your average hotel. It also doesn't have your average name and I probably mispronounced it. Built with 32 acres of landscape gardens, the hotel is a mixture of rooms, tents, and villas, but don't be fooled by the word tent because it's no backwoods style camping. This is the height of poshness to say the least. Each of the accommodations contains all of the technology that you'll require to make sure that you don't miss one single opportunity to boast about your vacation and upload it constantly on Instagram. That's the point in going to these places after all, right? And when you have posted as much as you can from the swish interior of your room, then there are countless opportunities out there in the rest of the hotel to get your boast on as well. Each tent has its own private patio with a walled garden. There's also a spa, of course, a state-of-the-art fitness facility, tennis courts, and even a swankster swimming pool for all of those posing pictures that you could desire. As well as all the modern facilities that the hotel offers, it's actually set in a beautiful, ornate, traditional fort-style building and even has its very own unique 280-year-old Shiva temple. What more could you even possibly hope for? Number 11. The Palms Las Vegas Las Vegas changes its luxury hotels almost as often as you change your underpants. This is the city where nothing is sacred and everything has a price, often a fairly sizable one. This is the Palms Las Vegas Casino Resort, which has just recently won the questionable accolade of having the most expensive suite in the whole of the United States. That would be the newly revamped Empathy Suite, which was given a do-over by the British artist Damien Hirst. You know, that guy who was constantly putting dead animals in tanks of formaldehyde back in the 90s? Anyways, hopefully a stay in this suite does not mean cozying up to a half-dead cow, but it will cost you almost as much as one of Hearst's artworks itself. At $100,000 a night, the suite is neither for the normal person nor the sane, but the wealthy one to be honest. The obscenity of the price tag is equally matched by the gaudy cash-extracting desperation of Las Vegas itself, so if you do feel compelled to splash this much cash into a hotel suite, then may luck be on your side in the casino. But we all know how that usually goes now, don't we? Number 10. Kamalaya Koh Samui, Thailand Up next in hotels that have names that I probably mangled and can't pronounce is yet another resort with all of the spas and wellness kershiz that you can shake a stick at. There's no doubt a plethora of ruddy infinity pools and all of that holistic junk that's imaginable. The island of Koh Samui in Thailand is perfectly sensible of a spot for such a place. It's slow and peaceful, and they are literally about serving the whims of their guests day or night, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That is, if you can afford it. This is the hotel that's won so many awards and is constantly listed in Asia's top 10 wellness retreats. It's built into the lush green landscape of the hillside of the island, and within the hotel, there's every kind of yoga space that could ever exist. 
along with a fitness center, a spa, saunas, something called an herbal steam cavern, and then of course all of the different swimming pools, infinite or otherwise. This place has really pushed the boat out with its spa stuff. Not only do they offer all of that massaging and aromatherapy and whatnot, but they also like to boast about their range of traditional Chinese medicines, naturopathy, and other things. If you don't feel like getting involved with some quackery and generalized nonsense, you could just eat some of the healthy food, whatever may float your boat. Number 9. Atlantis Paradise Island, Bahamas this resort claims to be the most popular destination in the Bahamas. It has a whole load of facilities and fun stuff, all based on its water-themed stylings. So if you do have nice deep pockets and the good fortune to take a trip to the Bahamas, you could do a lot worse than taking a trip to the Atlantis Paradise. They boast the so-called world's largest open-air marine habitat, although if we take that literally, then surely all of the world's oceans are actually able to make that claim above this resort. Anyways, there's also a massive fun water park which has loads of slides, including one named the Mayan Temple's Leap of Faith, a slide that causes all kinds of excitements amongst water slide enthusiasts everywhere. Aside from all the wet stuff, this resort has the dry entertainment as well, not in the sense of being booze-free of course. Adult beverages do flow freely here at the 19 separate bars and lounges along with 21 restaurants. After you get thoroughly liquored up, you can play a full 18 holes of golf, or even continue on with all the partying at the resort's own nightclub. Ah, such fun. Number 8. The Plaza New York Possibly the most famous hotel in New York City, perhaps almost entirely on account of Kevin McAllister's stay there in Home Alone 2, this is the Plaza. It was opened in 1907 and has been a firm favorite amongst the fancy and privileged ever since. The hotel has played host to world leaders, Hollywood icons, and celebrities, and as a result, it's also featured on the regular in television and films, as well as hosting plenty of high society events. Located on Fifth Avenue at Central Park, the Plaza defines that classic New York glamour and elegance that you've likely has not seen in all of the movies about New York City ever. The Plaza is a hotel, but it also has long-term condominium apartments as well as its hotel rooms. They've really leaned into their own iconic status and have suites that are named after their famous fictional residents. There is the Eloise at the Plaza Suite, named for the children's book character of that name. There's also Room 411, which is nicknamed the Kevin Suite, after that most well-known guest of Home Alone fame. There are endless famous movies that have filmed at the Plaza, which include Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest, starring Cary Grant, Baz Luhrmann's The Great Gatsby, and The Way We Were, starring Robert Redford and Barbara Streisand, but to name a few. Number 7. The Maraca Conrad, Maldives Novelty is an important feature amongst the world's most expensive and extravagant hotels. Just having the fanciest mini toiletries and a Michelin-starred chef is not going to cut it in the highly competitive world of hoteling. So that's how you wind up with places like the Maraca. This is the world's first underwater hotel suite. It's actually part of the Conrad Maldives Island Resort, a mouthful of a place of a name that really doesn't roll off the tongue. This place is owned by gigantic monster hotel chain Hilton Worldwide, but this resort is also nestled well and truly in the top end of that corporation's offerings. So this is just a singular hotel suite for the water-keen, non-claustrophobic members of the elite who are looking for novelty and an audience of fish in their hotel stay. The suite itself has two stories, which also includes a master bedroom and a twin room, both with in-suite facilities, naturally, and there's a sun deck and, of course, an infinity pool. I mean, can you really even call it anything more than a bog-standard hostel if you don't have an infinity pool? Number 6. Grand Hotel Tremezzo, Italy Lake Como is the playground of the rich and famous, so it should come as no surprise that there are some super swanky offerings in the hotel department in this incredibly beautiful part of Italy. The Grand Hotel Tremezzo first opened its doors to guests in 1910, and even back then it was designed to attract the fanciest of people in the social elite in that Belle Epoch era. 
Nowadays, though, it still holds to its original ideas. It is family-run and maintains its quality and elegance. Back when it opened, though, it was a groundbreaking place, mainly because of the use of electric elevators, central heating, and a private bathroom in every room. All of these things would be considered cutting-edge luxuries of the time, but it was this forward thinking that drew the deeply pocketed crowd and gave the hotel its reputation that it still enjoys today, and for which it charges lavishly. Number 5. Full Moon Hotel in Baku, Azerbaijan well, it seems as though all kinds of places are now declaring themselves to be seven-star hotels. Here's another one of those. And before we all get stuck in, I feel that somebody needs to ask the question, what happened to the six-star hotels? Did we just skip them and jump ahead from five to seven? Is six a terribly unlucky number in hotel speak? If any of you know, please go ahead and enlighten me. I feel like this is a question we should all demand the answer for. Right, this is the Full Moon Hotel in Baku, Azerbaijan, and it seems like a strange place to have such a fancy facility, but this is our modern world after all. The Full Moon Hotel is pretty unusual as a design, created by one of South Korea's biggest architects, and has a lot of attention on account of its Death Star qualities. The result of this unusual shape is a 35-story hotel with 382 rooms in a city that was once touted as the New Dubai, but that has hasn't quite happened, and they do have a weird-shaped hotel at least. Number 4. ITC Grand Chola Another point, another massive palace of a hotel. Where this time we're back in India with the ITC Grand Chola. It's a colossus of a place which takes its inspiration from the Imperial Cholas. Inside, there are 522 rooms of palatial opulence, 78 service departments, and they're so grand that it's going to make your eyeballs hurt. Within the rest of the hotel, there are 10 distinct restaurants, some of the biggest conference, banqueting, and exhibition spaces that are on offer anywhere in India, and the place is not really messing about. It not only wants to be seen as the opulent luxe option that it clearly is, but it also wants to be a world leader in the goal of zero carbon, whatever that might mean in the absurdly resource-hungry world of hotels and international travel. In the case of the ITC Grand Chola, they've been awarded the LEED Platinum and LEED Zero Carbon Certification. They actually pretty much cover their own demand for electricity with the ownership of wind and solar farms, as well as a pretty comprehensive recycling policy for all hotels waste. They claim that these endeavors deliver a planet-positive hotel experience. Oh, please. Number 3. Pangu Seven Star Hotel, Beijing and despite our initial claim of there being only one, here is the third seven-star hotel. This is the Pangu Hotel in Beijing, China, designed by the highly acclaimed architect C.Y. Li, who is probably best known for building Taipei 101, which is one of the tallest buildings in the world. This so-called seven-star luxury accommodation is very boastful about all of its charming and exclusive features. For example, the Pangu has 12 different rooftops, each one known as a sky core courtyard, and each one designed by a different creator, making them all unique in individual spaces. The benefit of being high up there might be that you can get above some of the city's appalling air pollution, but then again, perhaps you just get a different flavor of poison on the sky courtyard. The hotel interior combines the different tastes of Chinese and Western cultures, all naturally in the most opulent way possible. There are huge Italianette designer sofas and marble sculptures, artworks decorating the walls, and there are even massive ornate pieces of highly polished hardwood furniture and colossal glass walls that showcase the cityscape. The guest suites themselves are the height of global luxury, with the very best ones featuring Baker furniture. This, to those initiated, is the very same stuff that's used by the President of the United States in the White House. So guests here can get all of that oval office sensation, if that's the sort of thing that happens to get them going. Number 2. Seven Stars Galleria Milan well, whoopsie, here's yet another one of those super-exclusive 
seven star hotels, who knew that they were actually 10 a penny? This time we're in Milan in Italy, the capital of fashion and the height of elegant style, so you can expect this place to tick off all of the luxury boxes. Since its initial opening in 2007, the Seven Stars Galleria has always maintained that its purpose was to provide its guests with a home away from home feeling. And yes, it seems that if you live in a palatial surrounding with the most sumptuous luxuries and staff to cater to your beck and call, then yeah, this place is going to feel like home. Located in the world-famous Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II, the beautiful 1860s shopping gallery and city landmark, which connects the main cathedral with the opera via glass vaulted arcades, the Seven Stars Galleria offers guests an unbeatable city location. Inside the suites are contemporary with classic Italian elegance. They offer a warm welcome and expert lighting to create a unique and comfortable environment in a super luxury setting. Number 1. Como La Cala Island, Fiji Next up, we have the private tropical island in Fiji, which sounds terrible, I know, but let's just see what all the fuss is about, okay? Fiji is pretty much the undisputed location of paradise on Earth. These South Pacific islands are an elite vacation hotspot, which is reserved for only the most fancy and most full walleted of individuals. The resort has been built on this private island with absolutely no expense spared, and it also manages to be one of those profoundly fashionable newfangled places that's hopped aboard the eco-friendly bandwagon and is not afraid to screech all about it. In the most tasteful way possible, of course. So, for the uber wealthy, you can buy a vacation which will also make you imagine that, somehow, your jet set lifestyle, excessive consumption, and the exploitation of local cultures for your entertainment is actually pretty good for the planet and good for you. You can give yourself a pat on the back as you enjoy an island which has preserved its natural forests, traditional style farms, mangroves, and beaches for this that can pay for the privilege of witnessing them. This is, after all, a private island, so it's only available to those who can afford it. Oh, and while you're there, feeling awesome about how eco-conscious you are, while never even feeling the sensation of discomfort or having any of your whims denied, you can also visit the Cultural Village, where yes, the local people will perform their lives out just for you. Well, we've seen some of the most fancy places to spend the night imaginable. What did you think of these opulent vacation palaces? And which one would you spend a fortune to experience? As always, let me know all of your fabulous thoughts and ideas in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.